Welcome to My Decadent Life. You know why you clicked on this video. We are going to indulge in some beauty today, that is for sure. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about my first impression thoughts on the EXA Foundation and this Johnny Concert eyeshadow palette, then you better stay tuned because we're going to do it right now. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but I was on Instagram the other day and this EXA foundation popped up and I was like, what? And sure enough, I had an email from Credo saying it was launched on the Credo website. So I was like, let's do it. Then I opened up the Credo website and this palette popped up and I had literally just did a video on the Johnny Concert Champagne Supernova palette and this is the Chroma Delica, I believe is how you say it. And I was like sold. Let's do it. So the EXA foundation is considered um, a weightless vegan foundation that can be worn sheer to full coverage for a luminous glow. And I did establish it was fairly glowy. I went ahead and powdered, um, but I still feel like I have a nice sheen. Obviously, I'm wearing some highlighter products, um, but powdering it did not mattify it to, you know, the bone or anything like that. I think that it looks really skin-like and really pretty. First time wearing it, only a first impression. Um, I will update you at the end of my day in the description to let you know how it wore, but I'm finding it to be very pretty. So the cool thing about this, when you're talking about the cruelty-free, vegan, clean beauty kind of foundation, they say that it has aloe vera juice, plumping peach fruit extract, protective microalgae actives, soothing macquai berry, hyaluronic acid, gluten-free ingredients, safe for sensitive skin, and approved by dermatologists, whatever that means, one dermatologist, two, 150, who knows. Um, but this comes in 43 shades. Now, um, it is phenomenal when you look. So, when you look at the shade range, sorry, this is my old phone, I was still kind of like, are there enough deep tones, but when I looked at the darkest one, my first thought was like, I was like, well, I always think of like um, Nima Tang, I watch her on YouTube sometimes, and she has a very dark complexion, so I'm like, would that work on her? I guess I don't know, um, but I felt like their marketing um, is in the right, no, not their marketing, their their goal, their plan seems to be in the right place. And I am going to try to be positive about it. And I would also just like to hear your guys' opinions on what you think of the shade range. Um, because I'm not really qualified, I feel like, to give my opinion. However, there are 43 shades. I picked my shade spot on. I have Oak Ju. Oak Ju? O-A-K-J-O-O, -O. which one is that? Let's find it. 360, medium light with neutral undertones. And one thing that I found really interesting as I was poking through here is it didn't just go from lightest to darkest or darkest to lightest. Inside the medium level, you could tell different depth according to different undertones. So sometimes I think you're just getting like pink or yellow. <laughs> Those are your only options. This really seemed to be undertone based. So I wanna give them like a little extra bonus point for that. This is a $38 foundation. You get 33 mils or 1.1 fluid ounces, which is very standard, tiny bit over. Looks like you get a really nice glass bottle. And on here it says all sorts of <laughs> things about recycling on the bottom. So if you're really passionate about that, it talks about how the inner packaging can be compost, the box can be compost or recycle, um, the bottle rinse and recycle, and then the cap discard and trash too small to recycle. And I know that that's something that a lot of people know. So I was super excited to grab this and try it. Um, it says it is good for all skin types, including dry, mature, sensitive, blemish prone, combination, and normal. Um, buildable to semi nat matte. It does look like it has some essential oils perhaps in it. Should we smell it? Like 
barely a scent. Um, as far as fragrance, it does not have a strong scent. I did not smell it when I was putting it on until I went ahead and just gave it a good sniff in the container. So, the brand overview. The name EXO comes from the decimal unit prefix 10 to the 18th power because EXO's range is big, their impact is bigger, and they're at the max on inclusivity. Um, why try to fit in when you were born to stand out? That's cute. Okay. Uh, they believe in clean makeup with extended frequency and colors for human for every human with packaging that's designed to be as equal as possible. They also donate a percentage of proceeds to Women's Voices for Earth, an organization that amplifies women's voices to eliminate the chemicals that harm our health in our communities. So I think that is cool. Um, I think it's cool. Let's yeah, like. Han just came out with what? Six shades? <laughs> I definitely want to just say that I think that it is awesome in the clean beauty space to see something like that. So let's check out this palette. So this palette from Johnny Concert, I just want to say one thing about the packaging because in the last video on Johnny Concert, I commented how you just pop the pans out and it's recyclable, but it does have a magnet. So you would have to rip out those little magnets. That's not the end of the world. $38, so it's the same price as the foundation. You get four um, long wear, high pigment, four pan eyeshadow palette, and I had broken that down in the other video I did as well, that you are saving money buying this in a quad um, from Credo, as opposed to Johnny Concert has single shadows on their um, website but they are more expensive. So this is considered EXA times Johnny Concert. So they must have teamed up to do a little bit of a collab. It doesn't explain a ton about that, so I can't really speak further to that. Um, but that really caught my eye too, and I thought it was kind of perfect since we're doing the foundation, and they're sort of kind of going together today. So they say they can be applied up alone or blended for both day and night looks. I definitely feel like it's a statement. They say that in here. Use a wet, flat, or pinpoint brush to create all of your favorite bold. I did use my finger a little bit to blend them together, um, and then I also use brushes. This does contain antioxidant rich ingredients, organic coconut, and jojoba oils that help to prime and hydrate lids, while green tea and rosehip oils help to nourish skin and help reduce the appearance of fine lines. And I have some pretty wrinkly eyelids, you guys. So we have, starting over here, Acid Mermaid. <laughs> Wild thing. Oh, Acid Mermaid is pearlescent uh, teal. Wild thing is bright orange. Highest voltage, bright purple. And Screamo is hot pink. Let me give them a good swatcheroo. How come? <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> Wait, let me just move my arm. I kind of did that funny, but those are what the swatches look like. They're definitely pigmented, and I found them to blend together really well on my eyes. So it does say that this is new and only at Credo. So you probably wouldn't be able to find these shadows on the Johnny Concert website individually anyway, but like I said, I think that they're a good deal when you buy it in the quad. Let's jump into the demo, and I will see you right over there. Okay, so we're not going to do anything crazy with the prep step. I'm not putting on any extra primer underneath. I just have my um, 11 by Venus Sun Serum on and a toner before that. So I kept my skin skincare really simple today. We're humid and overcast, so I didn't want to do anything else. Like, I do kind of want to, I probably won't check in, but I do want to, like, update you on how... Um, this wore throughout the day. So I have my sponge on hand and I do have um, a brush handy. Let's maybe try both. That's fair, right? And then we're going to just use a little Ilia concealer, concealer today because I know that I love this and it works well for me with other foundations that I wear. So, but it's kind of a thick foundation so can't I can't really, okay, I can't really pour it out. I guess we're just gonna like put some on the back and let's just go. Oh, dang, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good color match. <laughs> 
I can't really tell you how much <laughs> I applied because I just sort of swiped a little bit on my hand. I believe it's a satin, semi-matte, semi-satin, semi-satin. It's looking a little, you can see I've got some reflect. We'll see what happens when that melts in a little better. I'm gonna grab a little bit more and um, see. I don't like blush, blush. I don't like brush foundation applications almost ever, um, but it's fair, right? And I can always pat it in with my beauty blender. Can you hear my dog? <laughs> He's usually not in the room with me, but my girls are already at daycare, so he gets to hang out in here with me when it's, like, I don't have to have my door closed. And I actually really like filming when nobody's at the house because I just feel so much more calm. Even when they're with my husband, it just is wilder. All right. Well, I mean, that's fine with the brush. Mm. I'm not seeing anything that I don't like about it. It's still shiny. I wonder if it's going to dry down. I don't want to set it right away. So off camera, I'm going to go ahead and do all of my cream base that I usually do. I did just do a video on my fairly typical um, routine. I use a lot of this Salt New York um, Cream Tint Pros to do my blush and bronzer and all of that. So I think I'm going to go in and do that and then come back and we'll see if it has set down um, on its own at all. But I usually do powder. I always say that. I usually do powder because I am going to work today and it will be busy. So yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, that's pretty good coverage too. I mean, I feel fairly covered and I feel like it was a pretty good shade match. I know you can't really see much of my chest, but um, I feel like that blends into my neck really well. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so I went and set everything. Um, as I applied my cream products, like they blended in really well, but I did feel, let me turn this light off there. <laughs> I did feel like it stayed fairly dewy. So if I wasn't headed to work and I had time, I think I would let it just sit on my skin without doing anything else to it. But today I don't have time. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Jennifer's Medic and at Life and I will like update those kind of things in my stories or just in a regular post. But I went ahead and set with my like trifecta. <laughs> I did my beauty counter under my eyes, my ilia over my bronzer, and then my thrive um, on the other parts of my face. And I like how my skin, I like how my skin looks. So let's do our eyes now. So I have the Johnny Concert Amplified Palette in the Chroma Delica. It looks like this. When I opened this up with my little girls last night, they both went, oh. <laughs> it was so genuine, so sweet. And so I'm really excited. So can't really see my shirt, <laughs> but I have this colorful kind of shirt on today. Um, I'm gonna use some of the pink, purple, and this aqua kind of color. We'll just see how it goes. I don't have a lot of lid space. All right, we have updated our battery situation. So we were cut off there. I was just saying that um, I'm intending to use a lot of the colors out of here on my little eyelids. So we'll see how it goes. I am going to prep my eyelids. This is how I almost always prep my eyelids. I do have, this battery pack is dying too. No. <laughs> No. All right, well, let's change this battery pack too. Okay, so battery pack change times two. Let's do this. So I almost always prep my eyes with the Thrive Cosmetics Eye Lift 360 Waterproof Primer. I do like the Ilia one. I have an Alima Pier one that I like, um, but this one is truly my fave. So I just smush that all around. You can actually put it underneath too, but I already do have concealer under there. And I like to pat it in. And then you can go ahead and apply um, shadow right away. But I get like these weird little red bumps when I'm pregnant. 
and can be a little bit veiny. So I like to use the PYT concealer. This is the color Fair Pink, I believe, but um, it really doesn't matter. It's a waxier concealer, and I feel like it works a lot like um, like a MAC Paint Pot would. Or I never really used the MAC Paint Pots. Um, I always liked the BH Cosmetics one that was sort of a kind of like a dupe for the MAC one. Um, back in the day is what I used. So I have found that this is a good substitution for both of those. I don't tend to use this as concealer on its own most of the time. So I'm going to actually set this. I know it seems a little crazy, but just through my crease, it doesn't seem crazy to set your eyes, but you guys know what I mean, right? With a big fluffy brush with my Thrive Cosmetics powder. I just want to set a little bit right in through that crease so that it makes it easier for me to do a little bit of blending. So I think I'm going to change things up a little bit today. Let me zoom you in. There. Nice and close. I think I'm going to change things up a little bit today, but I think I'm going to use a little bit of more like, like cooler neutrals and maybe even a little bit of a gray in my crease. We'll see. Yeah, let's do it. We'll see. We're going to do it right now. So we won't see. We're going to just do it. So I am just going to use some of my beauty counter shadows that I have all panned out, but I'm going to use this color right here. It's just a really soft gray. Nothing crazy about it. And this is just going to prep this lid because I don't really want to, I don't really want it to be like a completely colorful eye today. I want there to be some like neutral kind of depth in my crease. So I'm going to take that same color and I'm just going to run a little bit underneath as well. I'm actually going to kind of let that just sort of be smoky under there. It might seem a little stark now, but once we get all that color on there, it'll be perfect because you'll kind of need that depth to balance out that brightness. So I stamped a little bit more depth in the corner and then I sort of just kind of tried to feather those out. I might add a little bit more depth once we get the color on, but let's play with the color. I am going to take a little bit more of this PYT concealer and just sort of give a little bit of life um, back to like the lid area just so that there's a little bit of stick for those bright shadows. I'm just going to take this old Urban Decay and I think I'm going to put, I think like, I don't know which, I don't know where I want to go with this. I think I want to do, <laughs> I think I want to do the blue to the purple to the pink or the blue to the pink to the purple. Let's just start. How about, so I think I'm going to put the blue Okay, and then I think the pink. I don't know why I'm making this. I'm actually gonna grab a whoop, clean brush. And of course, you could absolutely use your finger, which I will probably do as well, but I just kind of like to see how it works without. And then I'm gonna take one more clean brush if I can find one, I got one right here, and do the purple on this corner. And then I'm just going to finesse them for what will seem like forever. I'm going to take a little bit of this purple and run it underneath that lash line. I'm going to take a little pink on my finger because I can't seem to help myself. And I'm just going to blur those together and then I'm going to take it over to the blue. Sorry I'm using my middle finger, it just seems to be the finger I usually use. Oh, now I'm creating more purple so let's take a little bit more blue again and feather that back in. I probably should have done it differently because really blue and pink would have made purple in a sense when you're thinking about your color wheel. I'm gonna take a little bit more pink and then I'm gonna take 
not as fluffy of a brush a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush like this guy right here sorry I'm jingling and jangling around a little bit more of that gray color and I'm just going to soften that whole edge perfect but I want so now I feel like I just made more purple I kind of want it to be I should have almost Okay, kind of like what I was doing as I was just futzing with that a little bit more. And I blended that purple over the top just a little bit more and just kind of like gave in <laughs> to that purpley, purpley hue. But it's more like a little spotlight of pink now. But it has created this really pretty, almost like peacock kind of scenarios. Okay, so I'm actually going to take this little, or this little fluffy brush, I think right here, and dip into a little bit of a darker gray. I'm just gonna use this guy right there. And I just want to kind of right over that purple in the corner, add a little bit more depth, because it just felt like there was a little something missing. Because I'm having a heck of a time, so now my card is full. Okay, I am. I did that. I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Well People. I'm going to use my new Wayne Goss eyeliner. Here it is right here. And we will be back. Oh, and also the Hourglass. So I'm going to finish the eyes. But I'm not going to do that on camera because you guys see that all the time. And I will be back. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Once I got my lashes and liner and eyebrows done i was just like whoa let's try the ilia this is tahiti their new lip oil i put a little bit of thrive liner on and this is just like like a warm i think they call it a coral nude no or coral but it's a gloss so it's like Totally, I thought it would be nude enough for this look because I didn't want to overpower these eyes. So, let's pull out this hair. Shake it up. Oh, let's back you guys up. All right. We're ready for work. <laughs> what do you guys think of these eyes? And this skin. Skin's looking good, huh? See, like I said, it was a really good match for me. And where's my shirt? Should I get my shirt in the shot a little bit? There. So here I am. Eyes matching my shirt, kind of matching my hair. <laughs> Everything's a little bit coordinated. I look like I should be going to a concert. I am going to do hair in the rain. Well, not in the rain. I'm going to go through the rain to get to my car to go do hair and then just come home this evening to sit in my recliner because I am 31 weeks pregnant tomorrow and <laughs> there's, you know, like not a lot to do in life right now. So that is this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have any other like color combos? I mean, obviously like this pink and this coral, I'm going to have to check those out, but let me know what you think of these Johnny Concert, this brand. Let me know what you think of this brand. I'm loving it. I need some of their lip products. Can't remember what else they have. They don't have a lot. I think maybe a highlighter. Um, and super excited to update you guys in the description about this foundation. So stay tuned for that. And also, um, don't forget to check out my Instagram. So thank you so much. If you give this video a like, I really appreciate it. And consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! -bye. <laughs>